It's a beautiful day in the greenhouse. I'm gonna take advantage of the weather to pick some cucumbers and to make some bread and butter pickles. It's a big pickle. So about 15 pounds of cucumbers from the greenhouse and five pounds of onions. Now we just have to slice this up. If you look closely at a cucumber, it has two ends. The stem end that was attached to the plant and the blossom end where the flower used to be. There are proteins in the blossom end that will make your pickle soft. So you definitely want to remove the blossom end. I like to remove the stem end as well. It can have a little tough woody bit. So this is the part of the pickle that we want to use. We're going to use the skin and we're going to use the entire thing other than the ends. This cucumber is a bit on the large side. This is about the size that I like to use for bread and butter pickles. This will still work as long as it's not too seedy. And then I like a fairly thick slice for the application that I'm using. So I'm pretty happy with about a little less than a quarter of an inch or half a centimeter thick. Now you can also slice longwise, which is nice on sandwiches and burgers. When it comes to the onions, I'm just going to cut the ends off. Going to peel them. And then I'm just going to cut into, let's call these half moons. Something like that. I want big slices of onion in my pickles. I sliced about half my pickles and all my onions and what I want to do is I want to mix them together at this point. So I have a big container that will hold all this and I'm just adding in some of my onions. I'm also going to add in some of my salt now. So I have, oh, let's see here. I have about a quarter to a third of a cup of salt. And what we're doing here is we're using the salt to extract some of the liquids from the cucumbers and the onions so that they can receive more vinegar when we put them in the brine. So I have a great big container filled with my cucumbers and my onions and salt sprinkled through it and it's sort of evenly distributed. And now I'm gonna add some ice to it. I'm just gonna cover it with ice and I'm gonna leave it for three hours. You can put this in the fridge, but it's pretty cold. I can just leave it on the countertop and this is going to help make my pickles crispy, crunchy, pickly. Now I'm gonna wait three hours and we're gonna move on to the next step. 15 pounds of cucumbers, five pounds of onions, some ice, and about three quarters of a cup of salt in here. And then I have two liters or two quarts of sugar, which works out to about 1750 grams. And I'm gonna use two and a half liters of this vinegar. And then I've got my pickling spices. You can just use pickling spices from the grocery store or you can make your own up. I've got black pepper, turmeric, mustard seed, coriander seed, celery seed, and some cashmere peppers. Technically, you want your vinegar ratio to be 5% acetic acid by weight. What's going to preserve these pickles and keep them safe is the vinegar. So if you don't like sugar or you can't have sugar, you can reduce the amount of sugar and you can omit the sugar and replace it with an artificial sweetener. So you don't need the sugar. It's not going to make it safe or preserve it. It's there purely for flavoring. The vinegar is what's going to preserve this and keep it safe. The salt also could be omitted. The salt is there for flavoring. The salt is not there to preserve the pickles. The pickles are purely preserved by the vinegar. Cucumbers are 96% water. When we add the salt and do this ice bath method, we are drawing some of that water out and the salt is gonna help firm up the pectins in the cucumbers, which is gonna give us a crispier pickle. So next, all the ingredients are gonna go into the pot and we're gonna make our brine. So first up, I want two and a half liters of vinegar, which is about two and a half quarts. I'm gonna put our sugar in, and it's a lot of sugar, but these are bread and butter pickles, and they have a lot of sugar in them. And I've got black pepper, turmeric, Mustard seed, celery seed, coriander seed, and some cashmere peppers. Now I'm just going to bring this to a boil. 
while I'm waiting for this to come up to temperature, I'm going to start my water bath, get it nice and hot, and I'm going to pack my jars. So I'm packing my pickle jars, and I have my bay leaf and my garlic in the bottom here. And then I'm just making sure that I pack everything in here really tightly and give it a shake around so that it falls into place. I want to get equal amounts of onion and pickle. Push it down. Get it in there really tightly. Now that these are packed and my brine is boiling, I'm ready to fill the jars up and water bath them. I'm not using a spice bag. I don't mind the coriander seeds and the peppercorns to be in my jars, but if that does bother you and you don't want them in your pickles, then use a spice bag. So I'm mixing it up to make sure that every ladle full I get has some of the little seeds in it. And then I'm just going to pour this into my jars. I'm using a little canning funnel here and I want to fill it up not I want to leave some headspace so I'm filling it up just to right here on the shoulder I don't want vinegar and the brine to come in contact with the lid because it can cause the lid to corrode and then my seal will break so I've left some room here and that is a pickle jar and I've got some very hot sanitized lids here and that lid goes on there I loosely put a band on and I have an extremely hot but not hot enough to burn myself jar of pickles so that's jar number one and we're going to do all the rest now if you get any schmutz on your rim you want to give it a nice wipe with a clean cloth before you put your lid on so my canner is boiling and I'm going to load in my jars so this recipe calls for a low boil which is about 85 degrees centigrade or 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Our jars are full of product that is at a colder temperature. So if we add those in, our water bath is going to drop. So we actually want to bring it up to a full boil and then we're going to drop the jars in and then we'll let it go down to as low as 85 degrees. If we cook it at too hot of a temperature, we might overcook our product and make it less crunchy and more mushy. So it really helps to have a probe thermometer in this situation. So we have a roiling boil here and I have these handy tongs and I'm just gonna load my jars into this machine. So it's really helpful when you're doing this to try to load your jars across from each other so it doesn't tip over and spill into the water. So the water temperature has come down a bit and I'm gonna Lower this in. So this is at 95 degrees centigrade. The burner is still on. Uh, it's not bubbling at all, but it is pasteurizing these at a very safe temperature. Anything above 60 degrees is pasteurized. Well, that was fun. What a great rainy day project. You go from fresh cucumbers to bread and butter pickles. These are absolutely delicious. And if you don't believe me, just try it.